Reload with Johnny Race. Uh, again, we're here making a, a YouTube video for my YouTube channel. We're going to reload the uh, Smith & Wesson 500s. Um, I got my Hornady XTV bullets, my Winchester 296 ball powder, and I got my large rifle primers. You gotta stick around. I'll show you how we do this. Okay guys, first thing I do is I get my load data book out. I look up my recipe. I look up 500 Smith & Wesson. Okay, and I figure out, I'm prepping my brass, so I figure out how far to trim my brass. Of course, these are the components I'm gonna use. Your 296, your 500 grain Smith & Wesson Hornady bullets, and 200 large rifle primers, because that's what this book says to use. Okay guys, um, I always use a Hornady book if I have it, if I'm using Hornady bullets. If I was using Nosler bullets, I'd try to use a Nosler book, okay? But uh, this is my 500 grain bullets. This is flat point XTPs. That's what these are, and here's my load data. Okay, guys, first uh, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock the media out of my flash hole, okay? I've already knocked the primers out of this and sized these, okay? Now I've got to uh, uniform the inside flash hole, and this is what I put pressure on, okay? Clean it out real good. I hold it down on my... Uh, primer pocket uniformer and cleaner head and uh, clean it up the Hornady brass is good brass and it uh, it looks nice and clean clean enough then I'm going to trim it to 1625 is what the uh, book calls for 1625 1.625 check it on my book this is coming under 1614 I don't know if you can see that or not. As long as it's under 1625, I don't care. Now I'm going to chafe it, divert. These are hard to line up on this uh, head. Knock it off. Now, a little mix I like to add. I got my air compressor here. I blow the primer pocket out real good. I blow the inside of the brass out real good, so I... Uh, if there's any extra lube in it, any pieces of brass where I trimmed it, any kind of contaminants, dirt, uh, they all get knocked out. Now this brass is ready to uh, hit powder, charge powder in it, prime it, charge powder, seat the bullet, and crimp the bullet. We'll okay, do guys. that next, guys. We're getting ready to prime the case, powder the case, seat the bullet, crimp. First thing I do is set my dies up. I've set dies up before in other videos. You can index them and see how I do it. It's the same process, just different dies. I set up my powder dropper. It's all set. I'm gonna have it drop 31 grain of powder, okay? I uh, just, uh, when I start, I turn my electronic scales on over here, and I uh, weigh a piece of brass, I tear it off. See to my primer, check my primer, it's all good. Powder my shell, flare my shell. Flare looks good. Powder's in the shell, in the cartridge. And I'm at 31 grain, so I'm dead on. Flip it around here. Get my bullets out. I've already got this set okay, to, guys, uh, I'm going to, uh, these bullets have a cantilever in them. These are the uh, flat points, 500 grain. So uh, I've set my seating depth at right around 281, 282. Make a full stroke. A lot of guys like to spin it. Stroke it again. Just in case it needs adjusted, let's check it now. We're at 285. I set it at 282, 283. The reason why you might, a few might be a little, a hundred thousand shorter or a hundred thousand over, is when you trim your brass, all your brass isn't gonna be trimmed to the same length. I wish it could, but it won't. But um, the case overall length in the book said 2.080. So I set it at 281, 282. If they come out 8384, fine. If they come out a little uh, longer, then I'll go ahead and tighten my seating die down, reseat it, check it again. You want to twist this in these calipers two or three times. This is 
081. So we're dead on. Crimp it. Crimp feels good. And that's it, okay, guys. guys. That's uh, that's a loaded 500 Smith Wesson cartridge um, with the 500 Hornady uh, flat point XTP bolts. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, any comments, uh, any likes are appreciated. Um, I need some subscribers. Do you guys subscribe? Ask any questions, I'll try to answer them. If I can't figure the answer out, I will find and search until I do. You guys have a great day. I